Welcome on Section Q. This is H&M. In this tutorial you are going to learn how to turn your scan into amazing line art using Photoshop. Every good illustration starts with a good template. Well, I don't know if this is a good template, but I certainly will try to enhance it using Photoshop. So it's just an ordinary scan of a hand drawing I uh, once made. So it's already opened in Photoshop. And now I will guide you step by step to um, standard procedures converting your scanned image into crisp line art. First of all, I need to rotate this image, of course. I'm using image image rotation and then I'm turning it 90 degrees counterclockwise, always working against the clock here. So when I've returned it, then um, I am going to copy this layer. So I'm just dragging the background layer down below this icon, then I have a background copy so that the original layer stays unchained. I'm going to rename this to scan. First thing to do would to make sure this was a grayscale scan, but to make sure that all artifacts in this scan are converted to uh, plain black and white, I'm going to apply a non-destructive um, adjustment layer. And I take the black and white adjustments here. Um, very good. And I don't need to uh, change the defaults. So now I can be sure that I really have a black and white scan to work with. Next thing, uh, well, would be what you always would do if you load a picture in Photoshop. Let's have a look at the levels. So I'm going to insert another adjustment layer and then we have the levels here. Um, as you can see, the specter of this file is pretty much widespread and um, I'm going to eliminate the unused white space here and you can see the lines are already enhancing. Probably I'm trying to make this even darker. So around 160, 162 probably. Um, actually, I'm going to zoom in a bit so that I can see more details of my line art here. So, and there I think I could move the black slider even a bit more. So around 180 would be fine. In order to make the background plain white, I could probably adjust the white slider, you can see it's turning white, more and more white, but I have to carefully to tune it in order not to lose too much details on the lines. So it's probably, probably appropriate here. And finally, I can just um, get rid of some gray values, probably by downscaling it even a bit more, but not, well, you see, not too much, actually. But I think this is quite some line art. So, next step, always a good try, um, are the curves. So, here are the curves. I like nice curves. And um, only in Photoshop, right? So, I'm trying to drag now this curve into a kind of S-formed shape. And this should enhance the line quality even more. Um, what about a value of 120 here? Of course, you have to adjust those values according to your own um, to your own drawings and scans. No, I don't think that was appropriate. So 120 here, yeah, and then I can adjust this a bit more. So, uh, always a bit tricky, right? So, you try this on your own drawing. F 
fine. So this would be with curves and without curves. You can see that I actually managed to get rid of some small details. I'm going to have a look in the levels again just by clicking the, I the icon here. I'm bringing up the values here. After I applied the curves, I should make some further adjustments here. So very good. The last step now would be to um, apply the filter Unsharp Mask to our lines. Unsharp Mask is a specially um, created filter to, uh, to um, catch the fine details of, of lines. So I'm, uh, I'm going to select my scan layer here. And then from the filters, I'm going to look for my unsharp mask. Oh, well, actually, before you're applying an unsharp mask, any sharpening filter, you should uh, consider um, going to 100% in your preview, really to see what exactly is happening. Filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Here is the dialog for the unsharp mask preview um, you should probably stay with a big radius and then let's see how we can use the sharpener even to enhance our line a bit more threshold would be pretty low in order to keep it as precise to the template as possible And I can reduce the amount actually. That looks pretty good. And I say OK. Let us see what this produced. Now, if I compare this result with the initial stage after I rotated the canvas, um, then you can see that from loading the sketch and then making our small adjustments here in Photoshop, we already are on a good way ahead to our crisp line art. Well, and then comes the hard part, the manual part. Um, it's here where you would take a brush and I would suggest you take a standard brush, um, probably precise, not too big. Set this to 30 pixel according to my uh, drawing. And I'm going to use a white brush because I will start to clean up the white areas on my scan layer. So all artifacts we didn't caught in the automatic process, we need now to correct manually with brushes. So especially here, those uh, ugly stripes remaining from the scan. And be as dedicated as you can during this process. So now I eliminated the whole stroke here. Or you can also just use the selection tool, for instance, like here the polygonal lasso tool, if I want to catch an area, like with the stroke, right? So all tools are allowed in Love and War. And this I'm going to fill with white, Alt Backspace, and Control D to deselect, and it's gone. And um, afterwards, you will take, or parallel, you will take a black brush, right? So I will take my time now to work on my sketch. But don't worry, I'm setting this video tutorial on pause now and uh, will only confront you with the final result after cleaning up. Finally finished with uh, cleaning up the drawing. I hate cleaning, though this is actually a great relief. I also eventually um, deleted my original background layer, the one carrying the scan. And uh, one last thing remains uh, to be done. Probably this is an optional step. I'm going to define the lines even further more and um, in order to um, do so, I'm going to make a selection first. So this is just now a plain black and white line art drawing and I can actually use the select menu here, color range, to select with the color picker here all the white areas, set this to a grayscale preview, and at the same time invert the selection. So if I press OK, only the black lines are uh, selected. 
then I can refine the selection actually um, by um, choosing modify smooth probably by two pixels and then I can even make the selection a bit smaller by contracting it by one pixel and then just to make sure that everything is covered I'm filling the selection with my foreground color or backspace then I'm going to invert the selection again now all the white parts are selected and I choose delete from my keyboard and control D that leaves me now with plain line art on transparent background now I would be ready to export this to Illustrator in order to see if I can make this drawing even better. Looking forward to see you in the next part of the tutorial, tracing line art in Illustrator. So long. <laughs>